Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here and welcome to a video that I've been meaning to make for a very long time. I always uh, hear this uh, question everywhere on the social media or uh, YouTube. Uh, people are asking, what is the best class uh, when you start Darkness Falls? Like, which one is the most useful for you? What kind of items do you get? What kind of skills? And I decided to make this video and uh, share with you a ranking for all the classes. Uh, the criteria for the rankings will be how tedious or easy the quests are to complete, what kind of rewards do you get from completing the quests, and what kind of skills do you get from that specific class that will help you in early game. So bear in mind this is not about end game, this is all about early game and how well can you play the Darkness Falls uh, when you choose your first class. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go to the video. All right, so at number seven, we have the survivalist class. Now the survivalist class is pretty much a useless one. I'm not gonna say it's a good one. You're gonna invest a lot of time and uh, skill points into a class that is not really that great. So the very first quest will require you to craft a wooden club and a, a bow and arrows. Uh, so you get, need to gather all the materials. And the reward for that one, it will be a bunch of clothes that you can see here on myself. The second quest will require you to gather some bones and make a bow knife. And uh, that will give you some food and water. The third quest will require you to craft the bowls of water and the charred meat. And that will give you some painkillers and bandages. The fourth quest will require you to gather some cloth, plant fiber and make the padded armor. Uh, which is uh, okay for the beginning. And there's no reward for that one. And the final quest will require you to craft a, a scrap pickaxe and a scrap fire axe. And again, there's no reward for that one. So again, it's a pretty useless class. The skills are not really that great. You get the survivor, basically will protect you from uh, heat and cold. Charismatic nature uh, for better rewards from uh, doing uh, jobs for the trader. And the wasteland treasure, which is a good one. You get more uh, loot bonus. But in the beginning, your loot stage is going to be so low that... All these percentages will not matter that much. Again, it's a pretty useless uh, class. It's not really that great. So I gave it the seventh position. All right, so let's move on to number six. The number six class will be the scientist. Uh, the scientist is a decent one, but again, uh, you can spend your points and your talents uh, with other classes. So I don't think it's a really great one. The first quest will require you to uh, gather all the materials to craft the splint. Uh, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, the reward will be a bunch of clothes that you can see on myself. The second quest will require you to uh, gather aloe vera leaf. This one is a pretty tedious one. If you don't spawn near a desert or you don't spawn in the desert, you're gonna have to pretty much uh, walk around and looking for like aloe plants everywhere in the pine forest, which is tedious. <laughs> and there is no rewards for that one if you complete that quest. <laughs> uh, the third quest will require you to gather some cloth and uh, craft some bandages. And the rewards are some food and water. The fourth quest will require you to gather some cloth and aloe vera cream. And uh, you need to craft some uh, first aids. And the reward will be a scrap machete. And the fifth quest will require you to gather some painkillers and honey. And the reward will be a crowbar. The rewards for this one are decent, but they're not great. You know, you can find scrap machetes pretty much everywhere. The crowbar, it can be useful, but not that much. In terms of skill, you get a demolition expert, which is all about explosions, which is not that important, especially in early game. Uh, yes, science, it's all about uh, crafting the stun button and some other stuff. And again, not that important in the beginning. The physician, it's a good one. Your first aid will be more effective and uh, the drugs are gonna be more effective so i gave it a six position it's a decent one you do get some points into this one so i think it deserves the sixth position and uh let's move to the next one now at fifth position we have the farmer the farmer it's a decent one especially in early game when you when you struggle with food and water this can be a good one if you guys are watching my trapped inside the asylum series <laughs> you're gonna see that i'm struggling a lot with food and water in that series i couldn't decide if i should give the farmer a better position in the ranking but i think a fifth position it's a pretty decent one so for the first quest you have to gather uh, some golden flowers and yaka fruits and uh, get the seeds from this one and you'll get a bunch of clothes that you can see on myself 
The second quest will require you to gather wood, rotting flesh, nitrate and uh, clay soil and you will get some food and water as a reward. The third quest will require you to uh, craft some farm plots and uh, place them and place the seeds that you made uh, and you will get some bandages as a reward. The fourth quest will require you to gather some chrysanthemum and apples and make some seeds and then you need to make some animal feed and there is no reward for this one. And the final quest will require you to craft an animal snare and a chicken coop and place them. For that one you will get a, a farmer bundle with a pipe shotgun some shells and a mortar and pestle. Uh, this one it's a again it's a very good uh, class especially in the beginning it can help you a lot with food and uh, water. The skills that you get it's the get off my land which is all about shotguns making them stronger. Living off the land it's all about farming and, and uh, harvesting more from your uh, farm crops and the sous chef which is a very good one but you unlock a lot of recipes for like drinks and uh, food so again it's a pretty decent class i think it deserves the number five in the position so that's it let's move to the next one now in fourth position we have the laborer class uh this one it's a good one as well again there are better classes than this one in my opinion the first quest will require you to gather some wood the rewards are some clothes but the most important one it's a mining helmet with a light mod this one is probably the only class that gives you an actual good uh, reward for the first quest uh, the second quest will require you to craft 100 blocks of wood and place them uh, you can see that in my background <laughs> as a subscribe button for you guys and the reward will be some food and water the third quest will require you to gather some iron wood leather you need to craft a uh, scrap fire axe and a scrap pickaxe and the reward will be a first aid the fourth quest will require you to gather uh, some stone clay soil pipes leather and tape there is no reward for this one uh, and the fifth quest will require you to craft a forge and place it and the reward will be a nail gun which is really good especially in early game if you decide to build your own horde base or your own house uh, this one it's a decent class to start with but again there are better ones than this one in terms of skills you get the advanced engineering which is about uh, traps and uh, unlocking the workbench and stuff like that the hammer and forge it's about uh, forges to unlock all the the advanced forges and the uh, advanced bellows and stuff and well maintained which is a good one uh, your weapons and tools will degrade slower and uh, you up to 50 percent slower again it's a pretty decent class i gave it the fourth position you can go for this one if you want but in my opinion there are better one than this one so let's go check which one is the next one all right so now in third position we have the mechanic class uh the mechanic class it's actually decent and uh the rewards are really good the first quest will require you to gather some wood and some uh plant fiber and craft a stone axe uh, the reward will be some clothes the second quest will require you to gather some gas can and iron and the reward will be a wrench which is really great the third quest will require you to uh, gather an engine a battery and headlights and uh, you can do that by taking apart cars the reward will be uh, some bandages the fourth quest will require you to gather some electrical parts and mechanical parts you will get that by taking apart uh, some cars as well and the reward will be uh, some food and water and the final quest will require you to gather some forged iron duct tape polymer springs and oil and the reward will be a bundle with a pipe machine gun and 100 rounds of 762 which is probably one of the best rewards that you can get again it's a pretty decent class in terms of skills uh, we have the salvage operations which is all about salvaging tools and uh, faster uh, salvaging and more resources the grease monkey which will unlock all the vehicles and uh, robotics inventor which is all about the junk turrets and all the robots in the game again a pretty decent class and now let's move on to the number two all right so position number two goes to the security class this one it's another good one that you can do the rewards are pretty decent and the uh, quests are not that tedious to do the first quest will require you to craft a wooden club and the rewards are some clothes the second quest will require you to kill five zombies the rewards are some food water and first aid the third quest will require you to gather some iron and leather and craft a uh, knuckle wraps the reward will be a pipe pistol with 100 rounds of 9 mm the fourth quest will require you to uh, kill another five zombies there is no reward for that one and the final quest will require you to gather some stone, wood and plant fiber. 
and craft a stone spear and the reward will be a bundle of mods that you can see on the screen again a pretty decent one the skills for this one is actually uh, probably the best you have flurry of blows which is all about uh, melee fighting this is really great in the beginning because uh, you're gonna use your uh, wooden club or whatever weapon you have a lot so it's a really good one pain tolerance it's a strong one as well uh, will help you to survive better and armor specialist as well which is good to decrease the mobility penalty so it's a really good one uh, that's why i gave it a second position all right so the number one position goes to the hunter in my opinion is the best class you can start with uh, the rewards are amazing and the quests are not that tedious to do the first quest will require you to craft a wooden club and a bow with arrows uh, easy one to do and the reward will be some clothes the second quest will require you to kill five zombies the reward will be some food and water the third quest will require you to gather some bones and make a bone knife the reward will be some first aid the fourth quest will require you to kill five animals and gather the raw meat and the reward will be a machete and the last quest will require you to gather the materials to craft the padded armor and the reward will be a hunting rifle with a silencer and a hundred rounds of 762 which is amazing weapon the hunting rifle will help you a lot especially in the beginning of the game and the fact that you have a silencer as well is gonna be even better the skills that you get from the hunter class are not that great but they are decent you have the stealth assassin which is all about sneaking damage and stuff like that which is amazing uh you can do a lot of damage with just an uh with your bow and arrows and the uh, hunting rifle the huntsman which is all about harvesting more resources from animals and threat assessment which is a pretty good one uh you can't get this one from anywhere else it will basically allow you to track all the zombies and animals around you and the further you go the area will increase a lot so you can see pretty much any zombie that will come to get you so yeah i think it deserves the number one position it's in my opinion the best class obviously guys you need to understand this is all based on my personal opinion so feel free to argue with me in the comment section if you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please like and subscribe. And i see you in the next one. Bye.